A Farewell Song, violin teacher Kulip Jung plays Brooks' Violin Concerto, a shared favorite of his and his student, Tyler Clementi, who took his own life last weekend. Every time I teach, I hear a piece that Tyler has played or that I've taught, and um, uh, it's, you know, it brings memories. The 18-year-old freshman Rutgers University student killed himself by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. Jung wishes the young man had reached out to him with words, and not just music. He was a very uh, genuine and uh, I guess you could call it a shy person, but as when he played the violin, it was something different. He had uh, a strong voice. I mean, he, he knew what he wanted to say, and he spoke through his violin. Clementi was apparently despondent after his roommate and another person allegedly secretly streamed on the internet video of Clementi in a sexual encounter with another man at his student dorm. His roommate, Darun Ravi, invited people on Twitter to watch, saying, I dare you to video chat me. Yes, it's happening again. And roommate asked for the room till midnight. I went into Molly's room and turned on my webcam. I saw him making out with a dude. Yay. Ravi and fellow freshman Molly Wee are charged with invasion of privacy. Prosecutors are considering adding hate crime charges at the urging of gay rights groups. You have to prosecute this as a hate crime. Anything less would be an insult to the memory of the young man our society lost. Psychologist Jeff Lieberman says freshmen are at risk for mood disorders because they are away from home, dealing with academic and social stress. A mean-spirited act can be a tipping point. So the tools of the internet enabled this cruel or sadistic behavior to be amplified and publicized, uh, not just on the campus, but throughout the world. And that really contributed to the extreme emotional reaction that the student had and uh, his impulsive uh, decision to take his life. At the high school where Clementi graduated last year, students are upset by the secret videotaping and also hurt that Clementi would take his own life. My entire school is, is mourning and grieving over the situation. Clementi's family was not speaking with the press, instead asking for privacy to mourn their loss. Ted Chaffrey, the Associated Press, Ridgewood, New Jersey.